I'm Dimitri Tsakhuridis, one of the broadcasters on Fine Music 102.5 FM. And I want to share a story with you, a story about love. You will see the people that are part of the Fine Music 102.5 FM family have all one thing in common. Their love for music and their joy in sharing that love with you. I'm Elizabeth Fullerton. I'm a Supreme Court judge. When was the first time you remember listening to music? Oh, goodness me. Listening to my mother play the piano um, at her, I wouldn't say at her knee, but at her side, and watching the transformation of fingers on the keyboard from dots on the stave and in inverse order and the magic of that transformation, that's my, that it, and I didn't even know I was going to say that, that's, that is a genuine first recollection. Fine Music 102.5 provides me with one additional feature that my own music selections do not and that is that somebody else is in charge and I am confident in the hands of the station providers. I'm Alex Hunya and uh, I'm now a retired retina surgeon. 102.5 has just taken leaps and bounds forward in its professionalism, in how things are presented, because now I think it's as good as any FM classical station in the world. You have very many more professional volunteers and uh, it's made a, a huge difference to the way the content is presented, the knowledgeable presenters and the wonderful music that's played for uh, everybody's enjoyment. It's really something that should be supported to increase the uh, enjoyment of good music by the younger generation of people coming up. Um, my name's Rebecca Zong and I am in year 12 at MLC School Burwood. Um, I'm the music captain there and I've been playing violin since I was five years old um, and I've also been part of the fine music community for the past couple of years. Um, I think um, we would be able to express our emotions also a lot less if we didn't have music because I think it's such a, um, a great way to um, express those sort of deep and um, profound emotions that are often quite difficult to express in words. And so when you're com communicating your emotions through either playing music or, or composing music, I think um, the world would be quite a, a lot less colourful, I guess, and, and lost, a lot less soulful and passionate without music. Uh, I'm Maddie Trotman. I'm 17. I play the cello and the oboe. And I've been a part of the great fine music community for about two years now. Being a musician, I find my favourite part is getting to work with other musicians and having the freedom to interpret the music as you like. I really find that it's great to express your emotion through music and it's just a really great outlet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eliana Katschanin and I am a composer and I'm also a pianist. <laughs> Diet music, cream music, full cream music light music. Uh, actually there is a word called light, you know, there is a definition, uh, light music, um, or full fat. That would be funny. I don't make judgments about music, you know, if, if it's um, light or serious or pop or rock or um, classical uh, from whichever century. Uh, there's so many genres and the world is so rich because of the diversity and I believe in um, all kinds of music, being able to live next to each other, just like people. I'm Charles Barton, one of the original members of the committee of the Music Broadcasting Society that was set up by Trevor Jarvie in 1970. Trevor founded the Music Broadcasting Society of New South Wales because of a love of music and because the ABC was reducing the music content in its broadcasts. So Trevor began the society as a kind of lobbying group for more music. And it wasn't until a couple of years later that the possibility arose that we, we might even be able to start our own radio station. And we did in 1974. I'm Katie and I'm a programmer at Fine Music 102.5. 
it's a way of expressing human emotion through sound. Fine Music 102.5 is a very special community. Everybody has this fabulous common interest. I'm Max Benjamin. I started off as an, an electrical engineer in the electricity industry and when I heard about the idea of establishing fine music, or as we called it then, Music Broadcasting Society, I thought, I've got to be in this. I've got to do something to help get this going. It just seemed so important to me. Having heard FM in London for th a year, I thought, we must have that out here. More than half my life has been devoted to fine music. And I think that's something I want to continue as long as I can, as long as I can contribute. I'm David James. I have a background of television and radio presentation and I became the first station manager of radio station 2MBS FM at the invitation of one of the founders, Trevor Jarvie. I started in 1974 as, uh, as paid staff. I think the future of music is youth, it's young people, uh, children being informed and educated at a very young age to become interested in music and relaxed with music. Young people, no matter what their talents, should be encouraged start to start by appreciating music and then if their talents align with that to perform in some way. I'm Alicia Crossley, I'm a recorder player and I'm also one of Fine Music 102.5's Kruger Scholars. Uh, the Kruger Scholarship was a bequest from Stefan Kruger, who was a fan of Fine Music 102.5. I believe he wasn't a musician himself, but he was a fan of listening to the radio station. And this award is to go to a young or emerging artist, someone who's under 30 years old, to help with the establishment of their professional careers. Yeah, the Dutton Dreed out fine music is the place of where we wanna be. 102.5 EIU. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Bukenya, music lover, booty shaker, book reader, and lover of fine music. Okay, I think music to me is that great combination of divine inspiration, which is inexplicable human interaction and production coming together and resulting or exploding in something visceral which is completely incredible and I love it. I'm Jeannie McInnes. I am one of the jazz presenters on Fine Music 102.5 and I just am passionate about listening to jazz and sharing it. I like to think of, of uh, my program as a good cup of coffee it's got lots of flavour, lots of a, a bit of spice in it, a bit of chocolate on top, and it gives you a lift for the rest of the day. So I always play music at lunchtime that's going to give people a, a, a lilt to their feet for the rest of the day. I'm Kevin Jones. After a long journalistic career, it ended as jazz writer for the Australian newspaper. I also wrote about the music for Limelight magazine and Soundscapes and a present contribute to the Fine Music 102.5 magazine. But as a kid, I used to go to the local, radio, our local theatre and I hear this music on scratchy 78s. What they played was Tommy Dorsey's Song of India, an artist yours friend to see. So this whole thing was built into my subconscious before I realised what it was. Music that swung, that was melodic and was great. And that's always been a passion because music can move you. Great music raises the hackles on the back of your head. <laughs> I am Annabelle Drum. I'm a music teacher at the local school and the work that I do is as a career and business coach for the creative industries, for creative professionals. Music is, um, it's, it's home. <laughs> When I was a young adult, I had a job where I had to travel around the country. But what I discovered was that if I got into a hired car or a hotel room and I could tune into classical music, I was home. It was really strange. It was like, um, like touching home base before you move on to the next appointment. So this it really showed me how 
how deep a foundation music was for me. I'm Andrew Jedgetts. I'm Secretary of the Board here at Fine Music 102.5, also a board director and a great music lover. The people here are activated by passion, by love of music, by actual engagement in that. It comes from an awareness that everybody is catching, is on the same wavelength, on the same wave. They're all together in this great endeavour that somehow communicates itself wordlessly between the various volunteers such that everybody becomes passionate and gives much more, much, much more than you would ever expect volunteers to give in such an organisation. It's actually quite miraculous. It's actually quite wonderful because people give generously of their time, of their expertise, of themselves, and they surprise themselves because they find much deeper reserves of generosity in all respects than you would otherwise expect. Five Music 102.5 FM on the wireless. Five Music on digital and www.fivemusicfm.com on the World Wide Web.